Welcome back to Cars of Sweden Live. And you find us here today uh, just outside Gothenburg in a place called Stenkula at this uh, rather fetching Morgan dealer. Okay, ding ding. All right. How you doing, mate? Yeah, I'm all right, mate. What do you think of the old bus? It's not a bad Tri one, mate. Christmas time in Sweden with the old <laughs> double decker. Look, it's going to Marble Arch. Exactly. Or <laughs> Buckingham Palace. Or Buckingham Palace as well, um. right? <laughs> so what's going on, mate? OK, so we're in Stenkull and with this new uh, dealer called British Autos. Yeah. Uh, they're a Morgan agent. OK. Uh, so uh, it's quite close to Gothenburg mm -hmm. and it's got all these nice little toys to look at. So, yeah, there's quite a few. Uh, so we've got some old, old classic stuff. We've got a, I think this is Lotus 23. Wow. So now it's a it's a replica, but it's um, I yeah. mean just look at look at the height on this. I mean it's not just past my it's on my thigh. <laughs> no parking, no no problems to get under those uh, <laughs> barriers. Barriers huh? straight under <laughs> free, free parking. I mean this is really cool. I guess it's all fiberglass, yeah. Yeah. All right, so ready for the track as well, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I right, mean, I mean I've, I've never ever seen one of these, whether it's a replica or not, I've never seen one yeah, of these. I mean, like... they're, they're, they're a rare car to find, but uh, I mean, just look at the height on that. My favourites, yep. Austin 3000, Healy. This is quite right. a nice colour, like salmon pink and yeah. white. It's like a little bit like the old Corvette style. Right. This is Mark II as well, yeah? Yep. Uh, these, are, these are fantastic cars. <laughs> Straight six? Yep. I love them. I love them. Oh, we got like a, here, we got a Riley. I think this is like a 1930 something, 37, 35, something like that. All right. The car that transported the Brits. <laughs> Everyone had one of these back in the day. Austin 7s and stuff like that. All right, I see Austin it's got 40s. a right-hand drive as well. So, uh, but, you know, back in the day, though, what year was this one? I think so, I think 1930s, 37s, right. something like that. So everything here in Sweden was right-hand drive back then as well, wasn't it? So. Yeah. Love them. And you got the old crank arm here. All oh, right, that's tremendous. <laughs> and the air vents for cooling. <laughs> Styling <laughs> or whatever you want to call All it. All right, because it had about what 25 brake horse on it. Yeah, or they got the you know the flip front screen here, air conditioning. Oh, it's tremendous! There's all mod comms here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and a full folding, uh, well, a full back sunroof. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, just imagine for you know a family car back in those days. <laughs> I mean, you have to be quite friendly as a family. Oh, yeah. They're right. sitting on each other. I mean, there's no, uh, what do you call that when you connect the uh, baby seat? Eco fit or something like that, what's it called? <laughs> Eco fit in those days. <laughs> yeah, right. And then All we right. go on to like the old classic, the last of the old minis, the Coopers. But if I have to get to the, the, the pinnacle of the classic section, uh -huh. look at this. Oh. <laughs> 1974 see, Allegro. See, now you're talking, mate. Huh? Austin Allegro. My mum had one of these. And when yeah. I was 15, I used to drive it when she was, like, gone shopping. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I thought it was the king of the road. <laughs> driving at 15. No, no driving licence <laughs> in the bush. <laughs> But I've got a story. I've got a story with one of these as well. I work with a guy called Richard Brown. Hopefully, you're watching this, Richard. He bought one of these, and uh, we were taking it on building jobs and stuff like that. And uh, we were somewhere in the centre of London, and we got it. It got towed while we were working, and the cost of getting it out of the pen was, was more than what the car was worth. <laughs> we used to call it the baked bean. The baked exact bean. Same colour. Same colour as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, these are iconic. I mean, they they were like an alternative, an escort or something like that. But I mean. How many of these you've seen on the road? You don't because they just rusted away. Yeah, they're all rusted away. But this one is in great and this condition. This one's isn't it? this one's the 
The sport model. It's a 15. Oh, is it? It's a 1500, mate. Oh, all right, okay. <laughs> oh, you're right, you're not joking. There it is. British, There's the evidence. British Leyland quality control. Right. As you can see. That doesn't mean for much, though, does it? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> that almost takes the value down a little bit. Yeah, exactly. It? Well, that's you know, that's British Leyland, wasn't it? Every 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 Friday they had a strike. So, but look at the interior. Good, some good velo on there. It's had some, it's had some, work, had some use on this uh, wheel there. Yeah. Wow, brings back memories, mate. Velo. Mm. <laughs> and I go over to like a Mark II classic Land Rover. Right. These are fetching good money these days. Yeah, well, they're tanks, aren't they? Yeah. And now we've got this Series 1. This is fully renovated Range Rover. Wow. I think it's from Vertex Borden. They, they did a project with this car. OK. And built it from the bottom up. All right. So you can see it's, like, new. Everything. Yeah. Paintwork, I mean, tyres. Yeah, good paint. Totally, interior. Totally interior. Yeah, totally they'd, renovated, yeah. They've done a great job on this. And this one is really... These are really, really going like this up in price now. Yeah. Because, I mean, in the US, these are fetching like seventy to hundred thousand dollars. Oh wow! And it's the same with these. Yeah. In the US, they're so popular to have one of these. All right. So the Americans are giving up on the willies, yeah, and uh, going for. The yeah, but thing. They, these was always, you know, the Americans. They always like the Queen and stuff like that. And they right. saw the Queen bombing around here one. <laughs> that was it. So everyone wants one of these. <laughs> so they're really popular now. I mean, this is this is a bit unusual though for this one uh, having this uh, little back piece. I it? bet it's a pickup. So I mean, it's uh, you know you could have the one with the box on the top as well. Yeah. Or you could have uh, the back seats. This is a short wheelbase. All right. So it's just a you know farmer's friend. Just a, a few Morgans in the various <laughs> colours from brown, silver, green, blue, right. red, and stuff. Right, let's start with this one here because this is. Yeah, okay, else. this one is, uh, as Morgan has been always, I think it started 1936, yeah. 80 years old, and they've had so many different, they've always kept the same style, but they've had different engines from Ford or Fiat or BMW or Rover, the old SD V8 Rover engine. That was a great sounding car, that was. Yeah. So now they've gone back to using the BMW uh, soundtracks. Right, uh, soundtracks I, li I like that. Engines with I a good like soundtrack. <laughs> so now they're coming with this one, which is, I think it's a three litre straight six. Yeah. And a three... 335 or something like that. What did he say? Yeah, 335. The days of the old uh, manual gearbox are finished. So now everything's like automatic. And the reason for, the reason for that is because of the emissions control. Everything right. has to go down to an automatic to get down to the yeah. EU emissions. But you've got paddle shifters on there, mate. Yeah, it's a paddle shifter. Look at that. So I don't, I don't think it makes a huge difference. Of course, if you, if you really want a, you know, a Morgan oh. purist, yeah. they want a manual, but those days are gone. Yep. To there, as they say. Well, do you know what? I've never, ever considered buying a Morgan, but... I would consider buying this one. I mean, these are so fun to drive. And they've still got the straight six. That's lovely, mate. Yeah. And, you know, it's still, still as Morgan is, they're still keeping their... Wood. Is, is that the only place they've got wood on this car now, though? No, I think it's on the frames as well. OK, still there. <gasps> so they still keep that. I mean, that's a signature part of uh, Morgan. Yeah. You have to have that. But, yeah, but now they've gone serious with some real BMW and if you see, type performance. If you see, they've used some of the, like, the Lotus uh, idea. They've got like, oh, right. the bonded, the bonded yeah. chassis, yeah. all aluminium. I mean, they're so lightweight, these cars. Yeah. So this must be like a, a monster. 330 horsepower in or car something. that weighs yeah. maybe 1,000, 1,100 kilos. And... Running a BMW drive line. That's your cup of tea. Oh, mate. Yeah, what, I mean, you what get, a pile of shit. You're getting a reliability. Yeah. And a proven be a proven engine, yeah. a gearbox. So. I mean, the straight sixes from the BMs, they are... Bulletproof. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they'll go on forever. All you need to really do is put oil in them. Exactly. And then there was another model. Now it's the, the plus four. 
And this is all. This is also uh, a BMW engine, but it's yeah. a two-liter twin turbo. Right, four cylinder. Four cylinder. What, 250 brake horsepower, something like that, 255? Wow, and that's a lot for this as well. Yeah. It's plenty, <laughs> it's plenty. <laughs> I mean, I like the update, updated features. I mean, they've got better seats on this, more support. Absolutely gorgeous. Paddle shift. Oh, BMW steering wheel. Yeah. So, I mean, you're getting really like, you're getting a classic car. Yeah. But all the advantages of a new car, a new modern car. Yeah. So I think it's a win-win for Morgan. This is. Oh, definitely. But the funny thing is, if you look at if you look at this car around the front. Mm. Uh -huh. This is a brand new 2022 model, and if we look at this one here, 1971, four-seater. Yeah, the characteristics it's are the same. exactly the you same. You can't tell from that grille or that grille, yeah. well, apart from maybe the yeah. front valance, that it's still the same. Yeah. So, I mean, it's like, there's 50 years between this one yeah. and that one. All right. But they still kept that, and that's a, that's a unique part about it. Yeah. But this one is fantastic. Yeah. At least the 71. Four seater. Four seater. You never find these. No. These are really rare. They start. I can't remember when they start making them. We probably start making them around mid seventies, maybe eighties. I'm not sure. Right. But look at it. So bring the family. Yeah. The thing is, when you sit in one of the back of these, when you sit here, yeah. you're sitting here. Right. You don't have much. Okay. Right. Yeah. Much space there. <laughs> if you want to. You could tip out. You mean? If you've been daring around the roundabout. <laughs> You, you can lose the you passenger. You start with four, you only come home with only two. <laughs> to retrace your steps, where, where, did I, where did I lose the passengers? Now that sounds like a challenge, mate, you know what yeah. I mean? Where did I lose my last passenger? So if I look around, of all the, the Morgans, this one, yeah. I think, is probably the best colour. And the thing is, Morgan's renowned for... Is this a Morgan colour as well? Yeah, but everyone's, everyone's talking about wire wheels and stuff like that. Yeah. And all the new stuff, you can see they're all alloys. Yeah. But some of them do carry on the yeah. old ones. But this one is so cool because it's got the steel wheels. And I think that's really unique. Uh-huh. Steel wheels with the oh, right, gold centres, yeah. Centre uh, cap. And this was a... This was a I think it's a special edition from Celebration at 80 years of Morgan. Oh, right. So what model, what model was this thing? Because it looks kind of, it looks modern. This is a plus, uh, plus four. All right, from what year? Well, 80 years old, so it's, it's, it's going to be, it's got 2000, 2000. All oh, right, so it was, uh, it came six, out on the 16, 80th. 16, something right. like that. Yeah, 16, mm -hmm. spot on, mate. I think that's got the Ford engine in that. I think it's right. a Ford EcoBoost. Right. So the Jubilee model. Yep. Well, I think that's that combination is fantastic. And I, I mean, just the small details like you know, leather with a lamb's wool. All right. Classic style. Well, let's get a close up on that badge as well. Hopefully, that's in focus. So you can see, like they, you know, they've they've done this in a nice nice way. You know, they've got the nice and airy. I like the brickwork. Yeah. Like the logo, of course, they've got the old features, the English letterbox. Yeah. And we have to pay homage to the old lady. <laughs> there are three pictures of Happy Queen, only three. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, a bowler hat here as well. Yeah. Don't forget the bowler hat. I think she must have had a teeth, teeth fix there because they look a bit ropey, but they're looking a bit better there. And look at those. Yeah, so a denture fix. All right. Well, if you can afford it, I'm sure. And then if you want something for Christmas and thought maybe I'd buy you one of these? Buy me? Yeah, yeah. All right. I think you're about 30-something years too late, mate. I but, think uh, it's uh, perfect. Electric as well. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take it anyway. So, yeah, <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> yeah, so if you have a look around, they've got, like, uh, the, the bus. We have, to, we have to have a look at the bus. Come yeah, All right. For nostalgia. Nostalgia purposes. <laughs> right, hanging off these in London, mate. 
Yeah, I, you know, this brings it all back, this does. This you know, one, running after these and jumping on, on them at the traffic light. This one's been converted for more like, you know, like an event bus. Yeah. So you've got a kitchen and stuff like that. All right. But have, a, have a look upstairs. Oh, yeah, off you go, man. I can't remember it. The, the, these buses were so bloody low. I remember them well, mate. Yeah, but I mean, I didn't think, I always thought they were much bigger, but... Oh, right, these have got tables up here. Yeah, wow. yeah. My God. Oh. Right, so this has all been done as well because, like, they're all facing forward. Yeah, so this has day. been like an, 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 an event bus. Yeah. But oh, I remember these days, man. I remember from here as well, you used to have a cord that you pulled down when you wanted to get off and it rang a bell. Yeah, ding, ding. <laughs> but I remember you used to be able to run up and jump onto the bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would, it would test you, you know, see so if you can get on there. Yeah. If slowing down in traffic, you can get on. <laughs> oh, they're classic. Now, uh, this is for sale as well, isn't it? Yep. Do you want a bus? <laughs> Happy Christmas, I'll buy you a bus. So there you have it then. Uh, this is uh, the new place in uh, Stenkula, just yep. outside Gothenburg, British Auto. So uh, you got, you're going to have service in for Morgans. You can buy your new car from here. Uh, everything under one roof, so it's perfect. Fantastic. Now, we've had a good day out here, haven't we? Yeah, you've got a nice little coffee area with some happy customers here. All right, Can... happy Morgan customers, <laughs> 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 right? Well, so, uh, yeah, so that's it. So, uh, we'll leave all the details to uh, British Auto in the description. Um, just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We'll see you all on the other side. Yep. And uh, yeah, we'll be doing more things in the future with British Auto, hopefully. Yep. Happy Christmas.